What's up, brothers? It's a little windy out here. <laughs> but hopefully it doesn't mess with the microphone too much. Anyways, I'm out here taking my evening walk. And as always, I'm going to shoot the shit with you guys. It's kind of a construction zone in my neighborhood right now, but uh, you know, whatever. Hopefully the audio is good enough for you guys to hear. Now in tonight's video, I want to talk about why working out is better than learning game. Now I know there's a lot of dating coaches out there that will disagree with that. As a matter of fact, there's a lot of dating coaches that would disagree with that that I actually like, I respect, I watch their content, and I really vibe with it, to be honest with you. People like Mr. Lucario, uh, Steve Dean Williams, Coach EO, Alpha Male Strategies, amongst others, you know, I believe their advice is very good. And they would probably disagree with this video, but that's fine, you know, whatever. We're, we're all allowed to have our own opinions, you know what I mean? It's, no disrespect to what anybody's doing. So anyways, my perspective on this is that working out is a million times more effective at getting you girls than learning game or even making a lot of money. So I've kind of seen both sides of this. I was in good shape in high school, but afterwards I kind of went into like this mode where I was I was homeless for a little while. I was like out doing shit. I was partying all the time. I was getting into trouble. Um, I wasn't eating right. I got way out of shape. And then I got in a, like a long-term relationship and she was feeding me really good. So I was out of shape. I wasn't fat, but I was a little bit rounder than I would like to be, you could say. And, uh, you know, I wouldn't exactly say that I was struggling. I had a, uh, you know, I had a girlfriend, you could say, so I was doing all right, but uh, wasn't really getting attention like that, you know? Anyways, when I moved to Tulsa and I started going to uh, Tulsa Community College, shout out <laughs> Tulsa Community College, Northeast Campus. Um, <laughs> You know, I started working out and uh, I have pretty good genetics. So when I start working out and start eating right within a couple of months, I can go from being like pudgy to being like a fucking like a chiseled up male model with a not male model face. But you get what I'm saying. So, you know, I went from really having to rely on game you could say damn motherfucker came up on me I had to really rely on personality <laughs> I know it sounds funny but I had to lean heavy on my personality to uh, get girls when I was out of shape But when I started working out and I changed, like, it seemed like it was overnight. I went from being pudgy to being like, you know, jacked. And I would go to uh, the, the school gym, the campus gym. And they had a, like a nice indoor basketball court in there and a, a full, you know, a full gym in there. And the guys from the gym would be down there playing basketball. You know, they would be like shooting hoops. They'd be down there hooping. And I would be up there lifting weights. And the girls would follow me upstairs and act like they were working out. But they would just be bullshitting, following me around. You know... And they would be saying shit like, well, let me put it like this. They knew I had a girlfriend and I was pretty faithful to her, but you know, they would be saying shit like, 
I don't want a man that's kind of strong. I want a man that's really strong. You know, so I could hear it. I look around and I was the strongest motherfucker in there, so you know, I took the took the hint. I knew what they were saying. They were shooting their shot without having to shoot their shot, you know what I mean? And I at this point in time wasn't even trying you know i wasn't remotely even trying to use any type of game or anything i was literally just going on about my day and that's how easy the shit was and then it got to a point where you know i would go out with the guys you know for a drink you know, nothing too major. You know, we just go out, just grab lunch and a drink or something like that. And they would use me as, like, the bait. They'd be like, hey, you know, you're jacked. Go over there and talk to those girls. And I'd be like, all right. And I would never know what the fuck I was saying. I would just walk over there. And I guess when you work out, when you're jacked, you just kind of have a demeanor. You know, you have a certain demeanor that's like, you just look cocky. You know, when you're buff, you just walk different. And I'm not that buff, but you know, I look strong as fuck. People can tell that I work out. So, you know, your demeanor is just different. You have like this cocky, you know, tough guy demeanor and it intimidates people a little bit and women are attracted to that. You know, it's just laws of the jungle, I suppose. So, it got to the point, you know, eventually I became single. Me and my girlfriend broke up. And I am single in Tulsa, Oklahoma, <laughs> living by myself. You know, house to myself, car to myself. I was making decent money at the time. And by the way, money doesn't get you more girls. You know, a lot of people might think it does, but uh, money doesn't get you more girls. Money makes it easier to maneuver. And when it's easy to maneuver, it's really easy to set things up and put it in place. And, you know, it just makes, makes make it moves a lot easier. But... It doesn't attract them, so to say. It might attract some of them, but not the kind that you're going to want. So, it's not a good idea to lean on the money or anything like that, you know. <laughs> There's a lot of fucking people out here today. I probably look dumb as fuck. <clears throat> Anyways. As I was saying. Now what the fuck was I saying? I forget about it. Back to the story. So I'm single living in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And, you know, this was around the time when Tinder was starting to kick off. The dating apps were starting to kick off. And I didn't know jack shit about game. How to talk to girls. how What the fuck I was supposed to say or do. I didn't fucking know. I would just find girls I was attracted to. And, uh, you know, try to make it happen. Anyways, uh, there was a big shift, I should say, you know, in the way that this happened. Because when I was out of shape, it seemed like it was easier for me to find a long-term girlfriend because I think women like to be with a guy that they feel secure with. They feel like he's not going anywhere. You know, if you're too alpha, you're too attractive or whatever, a lot of women are going to be, they're going to be turned on by that when it comes to like quickies and you know, sneaky links or whatever, but they're not going to be turned on by that when it comes to long-term relationships. 
they're going to be intimidated by that. But at this time, I wasn't looking for a long-term relationship anyways. So, you know, it didn't really matter. But I would basically just go on the dating apps and I would do shit that dating coaches, <laughs> dating coaches would tell you that what I did was like wrong, like this isn't what you're supposed to do. But I would literally be the guy that would take like a shirtless bathroom selfie. Or, you know, I would just show my six pack and I would only put like one or two pictures on there and I would match with damn near every girl in Tulsa that was on the app. And I could do shit like, I would wake up in the morning and, you know, I would be trying to make plans for that night. And what would happen is, you know, I would make plans for that night but when you make plans, plans fall through a lot. When it comes to sneaky links, you know, booty calls, whatever. Plans don't always hold up. You know, people flake and shit happens. Because when people have like a whole day to think about it, they, you know, shit might change. So what I would typically do is I would be real spontaneous about it. And I would just be like... What are you doing right now? And they'd be like, oh, I'm out driving, gotta go to the mall, and I gotta go pick this cake up for my uncle, and my brother's birthday party is at this time. I'd be like, why don't you come by right now? And they'd be like, okay. You know, I had no game, I didn't need it. There was never, there was no reason for game when all I had to do was just say what I wanted and the shit would happen. You know, you know what's crazy though, when you're in shape, women will say shit like, uh, <laughs> I remember this girl came over this one time and she was like, be honest with me. Am I the only girl that you fucked today? And I would just be thinking in my head, like, if she's asking that question, then she already thinks that she's probably not the only girl that I'm fucking that day, and she's still coming over. You know? It just puts you on a different level. You know, let's keep it all the way real. You don't get treated that way if you're not physically attractive. I see a lot of guys out there in the manosphere, they're out of shape. Not, I'm not talking about content creators, I'm talking about the viewers that are trying to learn about women, but they're out of shape. They're not really, you know, they're not really making shit happen in their life and they think they can sign up for a fucking program from a dating coach and, you know, turn it all around. I don't think it's gonna work out for you. If you want to make shit work, you know, get your ass in the gym. Like I was saying, man, it's not just your physique. It's your whole entire demeanor. You know, when people look at you and they're like, oh, this motherfucker is, this motherfucker is like the Terminator. You know, you automatically get respect from men. You automatically get women looking at you. You automatically, you know, you're just viewed as somebody that people are like intimidated by. Now, I know what you guys are thinking. You're probably thinking like, this would be something that would be really good for a guy in his early 20s, but this might not be really good for a guy that's like getting older, right? But here's the thing, man. I see dudes at the gym in their 60s. You know, and dudes in their 60s, if they're still jacked, most dudes in their 60s have like a house paid off. They have, you know, they got money in the bank. They got financial freedom. They can do damn near whatever they want to do. 
and they usually throw in a little spice in the mix you know maybe they get like a uh harley davidson or you know something to uh appeal to that bad boy image as an older guy and i see a lot of dudes older dudes 60 60 plus pulling at the gym pulling girls and you know that's another thing man when you're working out when you actually have a good physique you know girls at the gym they want you to talk to them i know a lot of a lot of people in the manosphere especially in like the more red pill like i guess like MGTOW type spaces they like to talk about uh women in like yoga or not yoga pants fucking leggings and you know wearing the provocative sexy outfits they say these women are just attention whores and so on and so forth look man those guys don't know what the fuck they're talking about women dress sexy in the gym because they want an attractive man to approach them in a proper manner with confidence walk up to her and say you know it looks like you've been putting a lot of work in looks like you're you know you're really getting fit you're really in good shape and you know they do work hard for those physiques they work hard to look that sexy so when they put the sexy clothes on they like to be approached they like compliments and if you're confident you're not weird and you just approach them like a normal guy they're gonna respond well to it you know, and the gym is very easy because you see the same girls there almost every day. And you have time to build momentum. <laughs> you know, you can talk to her once or twice and then, you know, you start to walk in there and, uh, you know, you can tell when you're all of a sudden, she's on, she's like, you're on the same page, you can say. You know, she's kind of looking at the doorway, waiting for you to walk in. Oh, there he is. He's here. You know, she's excited to see you. And, uh, you know, you can just make shit happen and you can have many women, you have multiple women all on deck at the gym. It's better than a nightclub. You know, it's a million times better than a nightclub in my opinion. But, uh, yeah, for those of you out there that aren't really working out and taking it serious, but you're actively watching Manosphere content, trying to learn game, trying to get better with women, why don't you give that a try? get jacked and see what happens and i know what a lot of you guys are going to say out there you're going to say well uh you know if my face is a five and uh i'm only five foot seven it ain't gonna work it ain't gonna work for me well i'm gonna be honest with you i'm six foot tall and i don't run around telling people i'm the most handsome guy in the world but I'm pretty sure I'm above a goddamn five. So I don't speak that incel talk. I don't relate to it. I don't understand it. So I don't even cover it or talk about it. Now, if that's your situation, you know, that incel shit is, that's the boat that you're in, then so be it, you know, but I'm definitely not in that boat. So I can't relate to it or talk about it. Anyways, guys, that's just my two cents on the number one way to almost instantly become more attractive to women. I hope this video was somewhat informative, but I'm gonna bounce because it's Friday night and I got shit to do. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one off. See you next time.